Oh, I said earlier in the year, uh, in fact, I said it late last year, our levels of immigration are not sustainable. And if any of your listeners have children at school right now, they will be seeing that uh, very keenly in their classrooms, which are exploding. Um, you know, I, as a Minister of Immigration, I see it every day, especially schools in South Auckland who are seeing, you know, arrivals of children every week that they're not expecting and they don't have the classrooms for, they don't have the teachers for, they don't have the resources for, we don't have the teacher aids and the learning support for, and it's just become a massive problem. Uh, you know, school infrastructure is creaking. Uh, and so we said very early on last year, the numbers of uh, the net migration is not sustainable, not only on our schools, but our hospitals, our roads, our infrastructure, it's not sustainable. And very early on this year, I said publicly, it's not sustainable, and we are going to have to return to our pre-pandemic settings, immigration settings. I signaled it very clearly and very vocally and said, we are going to return. We made some changes earlier in the year. Uh, uh, and I also made it very clear that we just can't have the, you know, the same number of children and families arriving. And I also said we have to switch the balance. We have had an explosion of lower skilled migrants and a, and a, a hugely reduced number of higher skilled. It's completely flipped from 2017 when we last left office. Uh, you know, and if we want a highly productive economy, we have to go back to that, that balance. So I signaled it very clearly early in the year, we will be returning to pre-pandemic uh, settings. Uh, and that those settings that we've returned to are almost identical, apart from the English language test, almost identical to pre-pandemic, which was level four and five uh, workers were never able to sponsor their families to come to New Zealand. Uh, mm -hmm. it's, it was, it's only been changed recently during the pandemic. So I signaled it, we have done it, and it is to ease pressure on those schools, on our hospitals. So for all of those listeners here who are you know, trying to get in to see their GP and can't, or are seeing you know, these crowded classrooms in their schools, we had to do this to get a handle on the numbers because we just can't continue with the numbers of people that were flooding in um, with our infrastructure the way it is. We have to get a better balance.